it's time to map some accounts. Click on a red lettered account, which will turn it blue, then select the Map Account button just to the right of it. The new box that appears on your screen will look like this one. The top section gives you the name and number of the Adventist Giving account that has received a donation. AG stands for Adventist Giving, code 23001. The bottom section is where you will map or match it with the same account in Jewel. You will notice that some Adventist Giving accounts have Spanish and French translations added to their account name so that donors that speak other languages can use Adventist Giving. You don't need to enter the other languages when you create an account in Jewel. Just the English name is fine. First, we need to know the four-digit code for 23001. This little green box shows you a section of the code chart, and in green you see that the four-digit code for 23001 is 1567. This Adventist giving account may or may not already be in Jewel. If it is, we need to find it and map it to this account. If it's not already in Jewel, we need to create it so that it can be mapped to this account. Now we can enter code 1567 in the Jewel account name box, and we see that it is already in Jewel since the correct account name appears. If it were not already in Jewel, the name of the account would not appear. The rest of that line would remain blank. So all we have to do is click on OK, and that account is mapped. If your church is just beginning to use Adventist Giving, you will likely be adding a number of new codes to Jewel. Because Adventist Giving opens up to your donors an entire new set of offering codes that they didn't know about before, including 280 different world offering codes and 24 Georgia Cumberland Conference codes. You may see offerings like these, taken from an actual Adventist Giving donor envelope, offerings like Mongolia and Bibles for Iraq. Each world and conference code that you don't already have in Jewel must be created in Jewel so that you can map that donation in accordance with denominational policy. All of those world and conference codes have assigned names and numbers, and they're not interchangeable, which means that similar is not good enough. ADRA Africa is not the same as ADRA South Africa. Children in Crisis is not the same as Girl Save Project or Africa Orphans. Entering a lot of new accounts may seem overwhelming, but with the help of these training videos and our handy Adventist Giving Code Chart, you can become an expert at spotting new codes and entering them correctly. So let me give you the key for deciphering offering codes. Because you're going to need to be able to tell the difference between world codes, conference codes, and local codes. Take women's ministries, for example. North American Division Women's Ministries has a code, and it is 1782. There's a Union Women's Ministries code. It is 5006. Georgia Cumberland Conference Women's Ministries code is 7220. And then most churches have a local Women's Ministries fund as well, with a code number somewhere between 8,000 and 9,999. So if a donor gives to the local women's ministry, but their donation is instead mapped to 7220 or 1782 and disappears with the remittance check, you can see that is a problem. There are a few other funds that can have duplicates in conference and local that you have to watch. Worthy Student, Evangelism, and Christian Education. So let me show you how it works. Five-digit codes are always world codes. World codes are any that are not local or conference. Notice the five-digit codes here in this Adventist Giving donation. If you see a five-digit code for evangelism, you know it's not a donation to your local church evangelism fund. Georgia Cumberland Conference is using three and four-digit codes, so in Jewel, anything between one and 6,999 is also a world code. But don't worry, I've created a simple code chart for you that helps you convert the five-digit codes to four-digit codes for entry into Jewel. 7,000 to 7,999 are always Georgia Cumberland Conference codes. Maybe a better way to say it is this. Any four-digit code that starts with the number seven is a Georgia Cumberland Conference code. You see a couple of them here on this Adventist Giving Donor envelope. 7205 is the Conference Evangelism code, and 7338 is the Conference Worthy Student code. So if you see a donation to Worthy Student with a 7338 code, you know it's not a donation to your local Worthy Student Fund. Last but not least, code numbers from 8,000 to 9,999 are assigned 
as your local church code. Your church probably won't use them all, but whatever local codes you have will range between these two numbers. See here on this Adventist giving donation envelope, there are a number of local codes that this donor chose, all in the local code range. 8770 to local evangelism is one of those donations. Since we see it begins with an 8, it is a local fund, so it shouldn't be posted as a conference or a world evangelism offering. See how it works? The account number gives you the key as to how it should be posted, no matter what the name says. If in Adventist giving your local offering choices just have a blank space and no number, watch the video Managing Offering Categories in the Adventist giving section to learn how to fix that. Okay, back to the mapping page. We successfully mapped 23001 Global Mission General. It is black now, not red. And on the left side is 23001 and the right side 1567, the jewel code. Now every time someone donates in Adventist giving to 23001, jewel will post it to 1567. So let's map the last red account, 20105. Missions Miscellaneous. The green code chart tells us that 20105 is 505 in Jewel code. First, we click on the red unmapped Adventist giving account, turning it blue. Then we click on Map Account button to the right of the account list. This brings us to the page where we enter the Jewel code 505 in the Jewel account section, but nothing happened. The rest of the line remained blank, which means that this particular world account has not been entered into Jewel yet. But that is good, since now I can show you how to enter it. Clicking on the plus sign in the account name box will take us to the Edit Accounts page in Jewel, where we can add it. Note that the number 505 is already in the ID box. Now we just fill in the rest, Missions Miscellaneous, in the name box. And we change the type from Local Fund to Conference Fund. Local is the default setting, so anytime we add a new account into Jewel that is not a local fund, we need to make sure and change that from local to conference. Then we click on OK. This takes us back to the mapping page where we see the account that we just entered in the Edit Accounts page, and we click on OK. And now 20105 is no longer red, and all the accounts are now mapped. Let's take a closer look at the account section of the mapping page. You can compare the numbers and names on the right with the numbers and names on the left to catch any mapping errors whenever you import. So you can fix them right then if you find them. Let's look at the world codes first. 0001 Tithe is a world account and is mapped correctly to Jewel account number one, even though the codes don't exactly match. And here in the Georgia Cumberland Conference, Hispanic Tithe is mapped to number three instead of number one. We know that Global Mission and Missions Miscellaneous are correct, because we just mapped them. World Budget is 500 on the Jewel side. I know that one is right. And ADRA is correct. I looked up it as written USA on the code sheet, and 3536 is a correct code too. But even without looking them up, you can see that there are no world offerings mapped to local accounts. In the green circle, they are all within the 0 to 6999 world code range. If an account on the left, was mapped to an 8000 code, we would know that it was wrong. Conference codes next. There are two of them, and both numbers and names match from left to right and are in the 7 to 7999 range, where they should be. Evangelism donations can be especially confusing, and I often see this account mapped incorrectly to local church evangelism. But the fact that it starts with 7 tells me that this is a conference offering, not a local one. Oh, and for future reference, when a conference code beginning with 7 comes through, you can use that code as is. You don't have to look it up. Local codes, we have four of them. All of them match from the left to the right and are in the 8,000 to 9,999 local code range, which is correct. It is obvious that this church has their codes set up correctly in Adventist giving, since they are the same as their jewel codes. If we had found an account that was mapped incorrectly, we could, in this screen, click on it, even though it's not red, then click on Map Account and remap it to the correct Jewel account. We've spent a lot of time on mapping accounts. We don't want the donors to feel left out, so in the next video, we're moving on to them.